Hello, everyone. Welcome back to the channel. Matt with Green Bar Trading here. Welcome back to another weekly watch list video where we're going to go over everything you need to know for the week ahead. Before we get into it, hit the thumbs up for the video. And if you are new, consider subscribing to the channel. So up here on the screen where we start every weekly watch this video are your earnings for the week. I'm looking at Micron on Wednesday. I'm looking at Nike on Thursday. Um, other than that, you know, it really is what it is. There's not many really big earnings left. Earnings season has dwindled down. So now we're going to start to focus on those economic numbers, the economic calendar, especially what Powell says and the Fed. All right. So that's your earnings up there. And then going over to the economic calendar, I want to show you guys what happened last week, because that really started the weakness that we saw towards the end of the week with the market. And that was from Powell on Wednesday and Powell uh, speaking again here on Thursday, really talking about how they're going to need to keep raising rates, right? The economy is strong. The labor market's tight. It's a very hawkish Fed at the moment. And that really caused the market, I think, to digest what was said even the week before with the FOMC uh, meeting. They're going to have to keep raising rates. Now, a lot of times a bull market, right, because we're 20% off of the bottom that we saw in October, a lot of times that happens when you're already in a recession. We're not in a recession yet. So if this is going to continue, um, it's going to be pretty difficult with the Fed not done raising rates yet, right? So what I expect is a further pullback in the overall market, all right? Now, looking at this week and what we have on the economic calendar, Powell is speaking again on Wednesday and Thursday. You have initial jobless claims on Thursday. And then on Friday, the Fed's favorite gauge for inflation, and that's that core PCE. The core PCE year over year, they're expecting it at about 4.6%. This has not budged. This is why the Fed is thinking that they need to raise rates further because it simply has not moved. All right. So, this is going to be a huge, huge day on Friday that comes out at 8 30 in the morning. This number, all right. If it's 4.6%, that still shows that core inflation is not coming down. If it's less than this, then you know it's possible to have a market rally. So just keep that in mind right here. This number has been very sticky. It's the core, that core number. And that's what the Fed looks at. All right, going over to the groups, the um, sectors for the week and for the month, even for last Friday. What I'm starting to see is technology. Technology is starting to pull back. You can see here down 3.27% for the week. This started even the week before that. And, you know, the QQQ, which is the NASDAQ ETF, that was way, way overbought, right? Stocks like NVIDIA, Google's, Tesla's, those stocks were just way too overbought. Started to see a pullback a little bit in there. They're still doing great, very nice on the year, but a healthy pullback is what is starting to take place. All right. So that's your sectors there for the week. Coming over to our compass, the spy, very clear channel that we showed last week, right? Last weekly watch list video. This is what we were at, right? We closed on Friday up here, hit this trend line on Friday, pulled on back. And then you saw this past week continued decline. Okay. This is where we're in. We're in a channel, a channel. That does not mean that just because it's pulling back that all of a sudden the market is, is done. It's over. There's no more bulls left. No, these are healthy pullbacks, right? So what I'm expecting is that pullback now to test the 20 EMA. <clears throat> That's around 430. That would be a very, very clear level here. If we look at this on the 10-day, and this is something that I posted in our Discord, 
right? Very clear. To me, it was looking like a possible head and shoulders, right? You have a left shoulder here, you have the head, and then you had the right shoulder here tested a bunch of times. And then we continued to sell off. Tried to bounce here on Thursday and then continued to slide, right? So for me, it seems very logical that this will continue that pattern down to the 425s to 430 area. And that also coincides here on the daily chart with some of these key levels, right? You're over the 20 EMA, even in the uptrends, the uptrends, right? Sometimes they could break the 20. Sometimes they can support. Sometimes they could go a little bit below. And then you have the 50 day. This is a very nice uptrend here. So a healthy pullback, that's where I see some levels. That 425, 430, maybe 420 gets tested. And then again, timing is very difficult to figure on all of that. But this is just looking at it on the whole year, right? I like to look at big time frames. This is that channel we're in. So this was that pullback. Very nice, nice area, nice technical analysis here. And we did see that pullback. So that's what I see, 430s, you know, anywhere from 420 to 430 on an initial pullback. If that 430 breaks where we've had some um, you know, previous resistance turned support, we have to see if that holds up, right? It did here for a day, but we need to just wait and see. All right. So that's the spy there and some levels that I think that we might come back to on the QQQ, taking even a bigger look at this on the weekly chart. We've had a beautiful run up all of these green candles. It was only obvious that we would pull back, right? RSI on the weekly, very overbought, right? So a healthy pullback is in the making. How much will it pull back, right? So let's look at the daily chart. You're very extended over the 20 EMA. This is a really good momentum gauge, right? So the first pullback should definitely come back to this 356 area. This is a really nice area here to see if that previous resistance to the breakout then retests right around this. That would be a multiple confluence trade. If it is still that super strong market, you'll get a bounce here. If not, you'll break under it, but that does not mean that this uptrend is not still in effect. You got the 50 down here, a lot of support on the uh, volume profiles. You have a lot of support down here. So I would expect a pullback. Now, this has had already a couple of those pullbacks. The third pullback sometimes will break down a little bit further, all right? You've had really nice runs. You've had RSIs now um, for the past about five weeks here in that overbought territory. So a pullback is needed. It's healthy. It's okay. But that's where I see the market going. Definitely going to retest this. If it breaks here, we're going to come back down you know, to this 350 area um, at a minimum. That's what I'm thinking. All right. That's in our last weekly watch this video. I had also thought that we were going to pull back this past week. So I still think that's going to continue, but you might see some support here. If you don't, then that 350 area here where we've seen this, that's possible. And then, you know, it's really kind of gapped since then on big days. You still have that 50 down here. But what we've seen in the past here for the year is it'll break down this 20 EMA and then quickly recover, break down the 20 EMA, quickly recover, and then it just got way away from itself. So that's where we are on the QQQ. Now taking a look at the VIX, right? You'd have to go back pretty far here to about 2019 to see levels that we're at right now. So the VIX is showing that it's very comfortable with where the market is at right now. So what's gonna most likely happen is it's going to find a new support level, right? Every year has that support level. You had the 20 here back in 2022. Back in 2021, you had this level here at about 1460. And then you had this, again, this 20 level back in 2020. 
And before the pandemic, you saw levels in the 11s. So we need to find out where is the VIX going to start to find support, right? Where is it going to find support? So far, this is what we have. I would say right here on the close and then retested the day before. So watch that around 13 level on the VIX. Now, this has been acting really strange. It's going down when the market went down this past week, and then it started to stabilize a little bit. So let's just watch the VIX, see what happens here with that. Um, yeah, and so that's pretty much going to be it. Just some quick spy cues, the VIX, what we need to know for the week. I hope that you enjoyed the video. Like I said, hit the thumbs up if you wouldn't mind, and we'll see you on the next one. Take care, guys.